<laughs> what that, huh? <laughs> uh, that's a big nose. <laughs> well, fireside again. Another day. And the Ripley. And another day. <laughs> I don't know what he wants right now, but he's just sitting there looking at me. I guess he wants to, well, he's falling asleep. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're out here again, and I thought I'd do a little expanding on uh, why I said I felt kind of under the weather uh, on the video yesterday. And I did decide not to upload the uh, second part of yesterday's video. It, it was basically the same ramblings that I put on the short one. Except it was 24 minutes long with a lot of added, you know, things here and there. But the, the topic was still the same. I hit on all the same things. And, uh, yes, to human, uh, ich habe hier um halb elf ein uh, Bier in der Hand. Wie ein richtiger Deutscher das sein muss. Oder wenigstens ein Hannoveraner. <laughs> okay, so put Google Translate to that. Um, in either case, yes, I'm drinking a beer, and it's still before 12. Tough shit. <laughs> the, uh, this is what happens when you have a lot of time on your hands. You can go to bed when you like, you can wake up and have a beer, and nobody gives a crap. Which uh, kind of brings me to the point of what I was uh, getting down to. Um, you know, this time of year, and I think a lot of people go through this, when the uh, days start getting shorter, uh, you know, the weather starts to change, uh, the days don't look quite as cheerful anymore, or bright, or, uh, you know, it doesn't seem to have the same energy. And uh, the uh, um, holidays coming up, you know, when, if you've had a family life, as I did, uh, you know, with my previous marriage. I never had one as a kid, really. Not like that. Uh, yeah, growing up in Germany when I was a uh, small child before I came to this country and met my mother, whole different story. Uh, you know, my grandmother and my uncle and I, we, we had some really nice holidays over there in Germany. And uh, those kind of holidays I do miss. But, you know, being married, uh, well, my second time, uh, you know, for 28 years, uh, she had a, a family, uh, you know, two sisters, their husbands, uh, uh, her mother and her father at the time, not together, they'd been divorced, uh, you know, and then her mom died uh, about, I guess, uh, around 10 years into our marriage, and her father died about... Uh, about 14 years into it, so, uh, but we still had her sisters, their children, uh, my wife's uh, daughter, her husband, and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff, and to tell you the truth, I, I hated the, uh, the holidays, how's that sun, hope that's not blinding the camera here, okay, um, not that I ever enjoyed the holidays with the big family gatherings and the you know the constant having to do this and that and then you know part of that family you talk to them once a year maybe twice uh, you kind of run out of things to say talk about and uh, trying to you know be nice and cordial and ah geez you know and then the discussion gets into something where nobody can agree on it, it turns into, you know, kind of a bad feeling, and, uh, you know, we always did Thanksgiving at our house, hang on, I'm getting dry mouth here, ah, that's good stuff, um, you know, we, we had the, uh, Thanksgiving at our house, her youngest sister had Christmas at her house, so, uh, you know, we always bought, a, uh, like a 30, pound plus turkey, whatever the biggest one we could get, 
of course they all took plates home, you know, uh, and uh, it would have been too much left over for my wife and me anyway. But, uh, you know, the, there were certain rules I had at my house uh, when people came over. It's number one, we don't turn the TV on. Uh, yeah, my wife watched Macy Day Parade every year religiously, but people weren't there yet at that time. You know, nobody come over that early. And then I shut the TV off, which usually I didn't watch that uh, thing. She would call me in when the Rockettes were doing their little uh, leg number because I, I did enjoy the legs. <laughs> so uh, she called me in, I watched that, and that was it. You know, and after that I had a rule, no TV. If family's going to get together, I always thought it was imperative that we talk. You know, have normal conversations. And now you got to remember, this was before everybody had their little, uh, their little, uh, idiot box in front of them where they, you know, were addicted to that and glued to it. So, uh, you know, my one brother-in-law, uh, who's passed away since, but he was uh, a pretty big football fanatic. So was my son-in-law. And, uh, you know, my brother-in-law really got uh, pissed off that I wouldn't turn on the football game. And he'd go out and sit in his car watch it out there on his little whatever the hell he had, I forget. And uh, I think he listened to it on the radio. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, uh, you know, the hassle of it all was kind of kind of funky. And uh, I don't miss it. But there does seem to be a certain kind of emptiness this time of year. You know, whether you're with family or without family or uh, I don't know how to put my finger on it. It seems like, like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's getting older too, you know, that uh, uh, there's not much that motivates you anymore, not much that really gets your uh, juices flowing, if you will. Uh, you know, certain things that we had a big hunger for when we were younger, you know, whatever your, your gig may have been at the time, uh, you were into it, you know, you had a drive to do it and everything, but when you get older, uh, you know, you've done all that, you've, you've been there, you've done it, and it, it, it's kind of, uh, how can I put it, it, it becomes lackluster. So, in a degree, that gives you kind of an emptiness. You know, and I, I hear a lot of these channels that, that talk about, you know, uh, get involved, do this, and, you know, uh, make your future, and yeah, that's great for you younger guys, and you should follow that. You know, you should definitely do it, and it's good advice, but uh, when I listen to it, it's like you're preaching to the choir here, you know, and I'm way beyond that. But still this uh, weirdness, this blasé type of feeling that uh, comes over you during this time of year is, uh, it takes the energy out of you. You know, or me, it does me. So, uh, it's like, you know, I really don't feel like doing anything. Uh, it's just like nothing is getting me excited. Uh, even thinking of the holidays, uh, you know, it's like, yeah, what do I do? You know, I really don't want to be around a bunch of people. Now, look, I, I wouldn't mind it if I had one good friend that would come by, you know, a couple hours. We have a few beers, uh, maybe even fix a little bit something to snack on, you know, or even a bit of turkey or whatever. Uh, I would enjoy that, you know, uh, but uh, that, you know, every, everybody seems to be off doing their own thing, and I understand that, and of course, you know, I don't want to make a whole day out of it to where you finally got to say, look, uh, you know, could you leave now? <laughs> you know, I've, I've about had enough. This is why, you know, I'd, I'd prefer to go out. That way I can leave when I've had enough of people. And uh, I do enjoy good conversation. I do like talking. And I like talking to people that have uh, some insight in the life. Oh, hold on. Ooh, big old truck. Heavy equipment. And the uh, Harley. Awful pipes. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it, it uh, 
it gets to the point where uh, you you know you can't put your finger on on the whole thing and this is what I meant by I've been under the weather with uh, you know just that that weird feeling that you get now I'll get over it you know uh, as the weather cools down and uh, of course I'm not going to be very busy in the yard uh, trying to keep up with this shit out here which well I don't want to call it shit I love it out here but uh, you know that way my body's in better shape I can do a little bit more I know that there's no pressure to keep up with things around here as much so uh, you know I'll, I'll get on the bike a little bit more frequently which I don't get on as much as I'd like to anymore but uh, you know between traffic and people being the idiots that they are uh, it's almost like every ride I take there's something that has to mess it up you know or somebody really um, and God help you if you have more than one beer while you're out. Jeez, you know. So, uh, enjoying yourself has gotten, gotten harder and harder. Uh, making friends has gotten harder and harder because everybody is so uh, polarized anymore. You know, you may hit on something that you agree upon with, with maybe one guy or whatever, or one person, whatever the case may be. And... Uh, you know, then you disagree on 30 other things. Well, that doesn't make for a great friendship. And, you know, uh, finding like-minded people is getting harder and harder. And I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person out here that sees this. So, anyway, I just wanted to cl kind of clarify on that. And uh, let me th think about a few other things. I'm going to have to stoke this fire here and put a little few more logs on it I just got it going here and it is still pretty early and yes I'm drinking beer yes 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 I know don't tell me about it <laughs> it's it's a what what good Germans do all right uh, so I'm gonna take take a quick break here and I'm gonna do that fire and I will be back okay so I'm back got a few more logs on there smoking like crazy these were a little bit wet Anyway, my point, my point is that, you know, um, feeling better, and I do thank, you know, all of you that wished me well, <laughs> or to feel better, um, you know, it's not like I'm sick, well, not physically, mentally, you might make the point that I <laughs> have a certain amount of sickness going on there, but uh, that's not the case either, I don't think. Uh, but uh, you know th this is just a, a kind of stage I guess you go through um, the older you get the more uh, you think about things and again I, I was uh, talking very quickly to human this morning about uh, uh, this and uh, you know a couple of the other guys that I talk to regularly like Felix and uh, Messenger Rising uh, that and I'm not name dropping here guys it's just that I do talk to a lot of people and they make some very good points and uh, we try to help each other out uh, you know in a roundabout way like like men do you know uh, uh, just to give a little bit of support or to discuss something because you know um, whining about things doesn't help it, it just uh, and it, it makes you feel like like crap anyway you know so whining doesn't help anything it doesn't do anything for you uh, it's kind of a bitch thing to do and uh, uh, he was saying that he, he was kind of feeling uh, you know that weird feeling too so uh, now he's down in Australia so uh, you know the weather changing there too uh, you know they're going in the summertime on the other hand so uh, they'll be getting more sun and the days will get longer but uh, uh, you know even guys in the northern hemisphere uh, they're, they're all kind of feeling the same way and these are all older guys that I'm talking to as well 
So, uh, you know, I don't talk to a lot of guys that are teenagers or, uh, uh, you know, younger men. To me, pretty much anything under 40 is a younger man, uh, considering my age. You know, I mean, come on, I'm old enough to be your father, and teenagers, I'm old enough to be your grandfather. But uh, it, it just, uh, it seems like it's predominant uh, among the older people. And I'm sure, you know, women go through that too. It's just that I don't discuss that type of stuff with women. Uh, there's just too much feelings involved and emotional crap instead of stating the facts of, you know, what it is that you're going through and, uh, you know, making sense of it. You know, coming to a conclusion, coming to a, 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 a way to work through it which is, uh, you know, what I do, and I've noticed over the past few years that uh, I have done that. So, uh, you know, last year uh, was the first year that I decided to go to the uh, pub, uh, pub slash restaurant that I normally frequent, and uh, there's good people there. I enjoy the company, for the most part. I mean, not everybody that walks into the place is uh, somebody I enjoy, but, uh, the, the regulars for the most part are pretty good people, and the owner is, is a good person, and, uh, she's the one that had her, uh, you know, living boyfriend there just pass away recently, so, uh, in either case, it's beside the point. I went there last year for, uh, Thanksgiving, uh, they put out a very nice spread, uh, most of the people that were there was, uh, I guess you would call it the Lonely Arts Club. Uh, the, the, you know, the regulars <laughs> that are in there quite a bit. And now I only go there about once a week, if that. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you'd call me a regular, but, uh, you know, I guess. So, uh, at least I can set the clock by the way I show up there. So, uh, I went there for that, and I enjoyed that uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, it was a nice day to go on a bike ride because most of the people were off the road. And uh, I decided that uh, I would go back for Christmas because one of the barmaids there, uh, who does a fantastic job at uh, orchestrating it, uh, she always works it and uh, decides to make the food and people bring in food. So I went for Christmas as well and had a blast. I mean, I had a really good time. Uh, again, the roads were nice and empty, so the ride was really uh, good, and I'm hoping to do that again this year, you know, um, but it, it's going to take a while to get used to this, this shorter day thing again. So this is what, to the point, what I'm trying to get at is what I meant by feeling out of it or not feeling too well, you know, it's... Uh, a lot of, a lot of thinking going on. A lot of past memories. A lot of uh, uh, things at this time of year that go through your head. So uh, that was it. That's the only point I wanted to make. And I guess I'll make another short video about uh, me going to Catholic school and all that crap and getting kicked out and how that transpired and why it transpired. And it seemed there were a few people that were interested in that because it uh, focused both on on religion and uh, you know somewhat uh, the different nationality and so on. So I'll make another short little video of that uh, maybe later after I've had a few more beers and my mouth will get diarrhea and uh, I can <laughs> yak a little bit better. So all right, we'll cut it off there and. We will talk to you later.